Hey everybody. Here we have a power supply to look at. It's actually a cheap rain unit. It's a Viatech. I've been wanting to do a video of one of these for quite a while. It's my first time finally getting my hands on one. It's out of a computer that I was brought in for service. Just cleaned out the system and I figured I'd take a look inside this power supply. Viatech is a brand new, I have commonly seen at computer repair shops. You might be able to get these on Newegg. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure who makes them as of right now. I think some of the units are cheaper in FSP units, but not this one, obviously. This is not an FSP. It's rated for 550 watts, which is probably only about maybe a 250 or 300 watt power supply. It does have sort of a, I'd say sort of a modern design. It doesn't have minus 5 volt. The 5 volt rail is equal to that 12 volt according to the sticker. Still a little bit 5 volt heavy. Anyway, it's not too big of a deal. Does not have active PFC or anything like that. It's just your old fashioned power supply with the um, double circuit in it. It was manufactured July 2011. And here's some background the computers came out of. It's a Core 2 Duo system with two hard drives, a floppy drive, and an optical drive. Nothing else. So, not too much to deal with. So, let's go ahead and have a look inside this thing. Okay, I'm getting ready to pull the cover off. Anyways, look at that fan. It's like a lot of Viotech units have a red fan, which is pretty cool looking. Things are being a little bit stubborn to come off. <laughs> okay, there we go. And guys, look at the brand of the fan. <laughs> it's a wham. Yeah, guys, look at that. It's a wham. You know the brand of fan that I smashed with an axe last week? Yeah, it's a wham. Anyways, let's have a look at the PCV itself. This is one of those power supplies that, um, you know, it's a cheaper in unit, but it's not terrible. There's a spot down there. It's kind of a little bit of a hot spot, I guess I could say. Got some resistors down there. Um, as I mentioned, this thing never cuts off. It was always on. If I, well, I didn't. I don't think I did mention that. It was this system was always turned on, always in service. You know, it's got a good sized. Transformers. He has all three transformers were pretty decent size for probably a 300 watt unit. I think that's a genuine 35. Yeah, I think that's a genuine ERL 35 transformer actually. And for once, a cheap power supply that does not have the four diode trim. It has a bridge rectifier already installed. How nice! It has what claims to be 580 microfarad capacitors on them primary or these are probably actually 470s and it does appear to have a bleeder circuit and this is a half bridge as you can see the big capacitor back there that's actually a um it tells you right now this is actually a half bridge supply it appears to have <clears throat> let's go ahead and unplug this fan get this out of the way If it comes out easily. Oh, it's got a little clip here, okay. Okay, it's not. Yeah, this is one of those ones where the whole connector's trying to come off the board. <laughs> so we'll just leave it like it is. Push it back down. Okay, that was the capacitors you saw. Now let's see what it has in regards to main switchers. They seem pretty beefy. Yeah, I, I gotta give it that. Pretty good size main switchers. They're KSH13009H. Huh. It says AMD, one of them. I don't says KLF. So, anyways, I'm not going to look up at the issue on these right now, but these, they're, they're good sized. Usually, these really cheap end supplies have smaller end transistors. The best I've seen is 13009, which are pretty. pretty common for basic and 300 watt supplies. 
The capacitors are, eh, don't know too much about them. None of them are bulging, however. They're not bulging. They're all brands I've never recognized. But then again, as I mentioned, they're not bulging. They probably are not ready for the readings that are on the sticker. Anyways, um, you know, I figured while I had this thing open, I might as well go ahead and do some work to it. Just make it a little bit better. Anyways, let's look at the um, secondary side. We have a SB3045ST for the 3.3 volt rail. I can't quite see. Um, it's funny, the 12 volt rectifier is in the center. I can't really see it. But it's smaller than the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt units, which tells me it's still kind of a dated design. But then again, this thing is not terrible. It's better than a lot of cheap brand units out there. <clears throat> Again, there's a fan, which is a wham. <laughs> now let's look at the connectors on this thing. Your typical 20 gauge wiring you'll see on cheaper end supplies. This thing has, let's see, one, two, let's see, appears to be four, four pin Molex connectors. It has one floppy. It has four SATA connectors. Has one PCI Express six pin, eight pin adapter, twenty plus four pin main connector, and a four pin CPU power connector. I mean it's okay. Considering it's a cheaper end unit, it's not too bad in regards to the, the connectors they give you. And let's have a look at our um, rectifier bridge. Okay, that is a four amp device, so. We're going to call this a 250 watt power supply, honestly. Typically, cheap rent, um, typically 250 watt power supplies have a 4 amp rectifier bridge. 300 watt units, eh, they'll have like a 6 amp. This thing could probably, I could, I could see it doing 300 watts, you know, possibility with that bridge rectifier, but this thing's probably about good for maybe 300 watts tops, 250 watts regularly. So again, another cheap power supply. Definitely not the worst. Not the best either. Definitely not 550 watts. I mean, this is one. This is the thing I want to emphasize most about these cheaper end supplies. They're way overrated. This thing could not put out 550 watts on a good day. It could do, I'd say, 300 watts, possibly. Okay, but this is definitely not a 550 watt supply. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Inside of a Viotech 550 watt power supply, well, reality 250 watt power supply. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.